Jordan. Good afternoon uh, to all of you. Thank you for coming. And uh, my name is Rufa from Gamu Acoustics uh, and in collaboration with uh, Faculty of uh, Built Environment, uh, University Malaya. So today we would like to um, share with you our works on acoustical performance in Malaysian mosque. Today I would like to focus to focus on uh, reverberation time in the main prayer halls. So before we go further, uh, I would like to um, actually explain to you what is reverberation time. Reverberation time is actually one parameter of acoustics that is applied for architecture. And in mosque, it is very pertinent and very important because the function of the mosque itself, the function of delivering messages, the function of spreading knowledge. In fact, every week, it is compulsory for us to listen to not one khutbah, but two. And it is prohibited for us to even tell our friend to shut up during khutbah. So, there is a very clear sign that acoustics is a very important aspect in building mosques, but always overlooked by designers. Not necessarily mosques, but in acoustics in general, in, in architecture in general. So, um, regarding acoustical issues in mosques, we have a few subtopics, so to say. First one is noise, maybe by the machineries or maybe by the kids. And second, or maybe by the traffic noise nearby uh, the mosque itself. Okay? And secondly, it's about the sound system, the sound reinforcement system. Okay? But today, I would like to focus on echo or reverberation. And it is always affected by these two factors. The finishing of the interior of the mosque, of the main prayer walls, and also the shape and the volume of the mosque itself. I would like to do a little bit of experiment here. Okay. I would like to ask you which one gets more attention from me? With the mic or without the mic? Which one do you prefer? Which one is clearer and... Okay, raise up your hands if you prefer me to use the mic for better clarity. Use the mic. Okay, without the mic, please. I can say a little bit more without the microphone. So I'll go without the microphone. I, 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 I'll shout for you if I need to. Okay? So now, we are very lucky to be in this particular hall because it is this hall. I'm talking about this area because it is combining all these three aspects. Noise by the machinery. Okay? Acoustics, the reverb, and also the sound system. So these three particular uh, subtopic of noise and acoustics must work together in harmony to make sure that the main prayer halls function as per it should be. Okay? So, what is reverberation time? I'm sorry. When a preacher, when an imam is preaching the khutbah, the sound, the voice of that imam is being amplified by speakers. That's very common, right? So, what happens is, from the speaker, it will be spread to the listeners directly first. But the problem starts to arise when the late comers come in. The sound that travels further and then gets reflected 
before coming to the ears. So, this combination of direct sound and reflected sound is producing a continuum of sound waves. This is the continuum of sound waves. First, we have direct sound. And then after that, we have a collection of many reflected sounds called reverberation. So I'm telling this because maybe some of us is not really familiar with acoustics. So, in other words, the more reverberation you have, the less clarity that you will gain as a listener. So the objective is to control this reverberation so that it doesn't overwhelm the whole uh, signal chain. Okay? So, how do we quantify reverberation? Before we go to the mathematics, so to say, I like to have my partner Shamsul here to pop a balloon. Okay. We please uh, give a moment of silence, a moment of silence, so to say, for this balloon to be popped and just focus on the sound after the balloon is popped. So on three, one, two, three. If you realize after the balloon is physically popped, they need a little bit of time before the sound disappears completely from your hearing. I think everybody is clear about that. So, in physical sense, reverberation time is actually the time taken for the sound to fade away as much as 60 decibels, 60. Okay? So, it can be measured using so many equipments nowadays. Next, so what we did was we went around the country searching for MOS to test and we used these omnidirectional speakers and also the omnidirectional microphone to collect reverberation time data and to do a bit of analysis. Okay? Now, sound okay. I would like to demonstrate to you a little bit of subjective difference of speech delivered with high reverberation time compared to lower reverberation time. But since we are in a very reverberant room now, it may make it a little bit similar. But just try to listen. Okay, what? That has traded all of the good things of God, things like justice, love, and compassion. What does our culture tell you about who the main character is of the story you find yourself in? If you listen to this using a, a pair of headphones, it will be very clear difference between the first part of the video and the, the, the later part of the video. If you realize, there are three acoustic panels at the back absorbing the reflective sound, thus controlling the reverberant of the room. Okay? So, coming back to our work, there's a little bit of what acoustics is all about, reverberation time. Um, there's this graph depicting the volume of the space and also the resulting reverberation time. So Brun and Kerr is a maker of uh, an acoustic uh, testing equipment, one of the leading in the world. They are proposing these zones, so to say, recommended zones for different applications, speech, music, and the compromise between the two. So in the sense of uh, most prayer halls, we are really actively using it for speech uh, purposes. Hood bars, um, you know, sermons, lectures, sometimes usras, discussion. But we also have musical elements, which I believe is relating more to Quranic recitation. Okay? So, we will see the performance of Malaysian mosque that we have tested in the main prayer halls only. And uh, we got around 58 uh, mosques altogether. 
So this is the data that we collected for reverberation time in Malaysian Moss prayer halls. And as you can see, 59% is actually above the recommended area. So 59% of the moss tested by us is actually excessive in terms of reverberation time. But we can focus a little bit more if we segmentize this prayer hall. So if you can see here, we segmentize into small, medium and large prayer halls. Small from 0 to 1000 cubic meters and then medium from 1000 to 10,000 cubic meters and above that is considered large in our research. For small prayer halls, it is not a concern in terms of reverberation time. No samples in this research is exceeding the recommended area. But when we jump to medium-sized moss, suddenly the excessive um, prayer halls jump from 0 to 60%. In this area. And as expected for large halls, it's even worse. It's 92%. So only 10% of large halls, sorry, large prayer halls tested by us is actually good in terms of reverberation time. Okay. an example of a very good performing mosque here in Shah Alam. This particular mosque in this graph is actually this one. It is fairly large with 9,000 cubic meters of volume but it stays in this recommended region for speech without any afterthought treatment. It is designed that way from start. Okay. So the most is called Masjid Al Ikhlas in section 13 Shah Alam. If you have the time, by all means, please visit. And what more surprisingly is, not only the average reverberation time tested is within the recommended area. But also, it is within the recommended area throughout the frequency band from 250 hertz up to 2000 hertz. So it's in a layman terms, it's very balanced. Okay? And also, the, the designer is not sacrificing the looks of the interior of the mosque. More research needs to be done, but we suspect that the elements that is actually contributing to this excellent acoustics is the irregular surface of the walls and also the big chandelier that is breaking the reflections. Maybe, but we need more uh, research on this particular walls. So, this is the walls. Okay. So, uh, this is my last slide. Coming to conclusion, what I'm trying to say now is most of the moss tested by us is a bit problematic in terms of reverberation time. About 59% of the moss tested is excessive in terms of reverberation time. And also what we can observe here, when you touch 1000 cubic meters of volume for the main prayer hall, this, the result suddenly jumps up. So, in, in reality, I don't think any uh, architects in Malaysia is going to build new small mosques below 1,000 cubic meters. It is more to musola or surau. For mosques, it it's going to be middle size or large size. So, acoustics is a very important element that designers has to put emphasize from start. If not, then after thought 
solutions will come in, then that will cause a bomb. If only it's possible to mend. Most of the cases, it's impossible to, to repair anymore. Okay? So, that's about me and my presentation. Let's keep in touch and we can be contacted at this email address. Thank you very much.